<laughs> what is going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the live event. As the title suggests, we have uh, 16 Mystery Knives left of the bunch. And let me tell you, the majority of the premium stuff is 100% still in there so if you're joining tonight whether it's your holy moly kirby going hard there uh whether it's your first time or you you're very familiar with this process um you have a, a good chance i mean a decent chance to win some pretty epic stuff to, tonight uh as i've been mentioning um there are lots of really cool premium knives in there thanks to qsp and a couple of other companies but uh one of the knives in there courtesy of a retailer i'm not going to say yet because I don't want to give it away, uh, is worth um, $450. And I know a lot of people want to guess the Spyderco. It's right there, so it's not in the mystery pouches. Uh, so, no, it's not that. But it is American-made, and the value is uh, $450. So, should be pretty cool. Uh, just arranging everything so you guys can see what's on the table. Oh, we still need to scooch a rooski. Just give it a little scooch a rooski over here to the right so everybody can read everything. There we go. Good to go. Here we go. All righty. Ah. No peepee -pee knives. Nope. No peepee -pee knives on the table tonight at the moment. You can guess all you want. I'm never going to reveal what it is. I'll just wait until somebody draws it. Nobody drew it last time. In fact, a bunch of budget knives and only one premium knife were uh, knife was drawn last time, and that means the small chunk of knives that are in those pouches that are budget knives, a bunch of them already got drawn. So tonight, there's a very good chance that every every knife that's drawn is something nice. Uh, and and when I say nice, I mean uh, above budget territory. Show off the stellar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is that... This is... I, I think... I can't remember who if it was Glock that sent me this. Yeah, the, st <laughs> the stellar is pretty stellar. There's a... So this is one of those knives where, like, I, I love everything about it. I'm really... I'm actually kind of pissed off at how much I like this because I really thought I wasn't going to want it, and now I want it. This is a nested liner. That's so beautifully done. Look how they do that. You can see it peeking out right here. But it's so beautifully nested in there and such wonderful access to it too. Absolutely gorgeous. It, If it didn't have a detent ball ramp, I would say it had double clutch. But the ball is on a ramp by the time that flipper tab meets your thumb. So you can see there, it's on that ramp, but you can still, oh, you gotta be careful though. <laughs> it's so, that multi-row bearing thing is, it's uh, very smooth. That is a really nice Shirograph. I wish that they would do the I wish they would do the F95 like this with the nested liner. That would be so cool. No. None of the knives on the table are for giveaway. All of the knives that are going to be given away are in mystery pouches and nobody knows what they are. I'll bring them out later. The knives on the table are just just eye candy. Holy moly, I got some fun stuff coming in for you guys and I'm get is this Tiny Toon Adventures? Yeah, it is. Um, man, I miss that show. I used to watch that a lot when I was a kid. Uh, I'm getting a, a major update on my Project Excalibur. I don't have it yet, but I, I know you guys always want updates. I'm waiting for. I, I just got a message from my the my partner in this saying I I'm gonna have a big update for you. Just give me 24 to 48 hours. So. Big one coming. The Stellar's your one and done knife. I love it. Yeah, it's, it's a great knife for sure. You want to see that? Well, yeah, Knife Joy sent, I mean, like, I don't want to hide this. Like, Knife Joy sent me one. They sent Nick Shabazz one. Um, I'm sure they sent some other people one, but they, you know, that's how they, that, that's how they promote it. They know they're going to sell it out, and it's overpriced. <laughs> um, I uh, I will say that honestly, uh, despite um, uh, you know, 
receiving one from Knife Joy. Um, it is, it's definitely overpriced, but you guys know it's going to sell. It's going to sell out. And it's the lowest price you're ever going to find on it. If you sleep on it, your only choice is to go secondary, and you know secondary uh, prices are going to be higher. I said this in uh, my review, which I'm going to give you a couple of spoilers here. My, my honest opinion of this knife is it's overpriced, but there's nothing anybody can do about it. I mean, screaming and stomping and complaining, there's, that's not going to do anything. Uh, what I think will help bring the secondary market prices down and, and reduce the demand for it is other retailers doing their own exclusive runs. I am at a loss for maybe some maybe somebody can offer some insight. I don't know why DLT Trading, Knife Center, Blade HQ, and a bunch of other major re retailers don't do their own exclusive versions of that knife. I don't know why people don't order more of the original version. I don't I mean Spyderco can cl uh, clearly still make them. Why don't we have more? If we had more of them, the, I mean that's all you can do is supply and demand. So all, all you can do is increase supply. They'll sell. People will buy them. But what I don't like, there's nothing we can do about what they're going to, you know, charge for them retail, but I, I don't like that people buy them just to flip them successfully on the secondary market. You can't point the finger at anybody except for the buyer's secondary market, in my opinion. You can point, I mean, you can point the finger at whoever you want, but the biggest problem is that there's a huge market of people who are willing to pay secondary market prices. And the reason is because the demand is massively high. I think people like to take the lazy route, you know, the pretend scholar route and say, artificial scarcity, artificial scarcity. Yeah, I don't think it's that simple. You know, if this was an episode of Scooby-Doo, you could unmask that. You could say, oh, it's the, the, it's the, the goblin. It was, uh, was Spider-Co the whole time. We solved the mystery, right? But it's not that simple. We'd have gotten away with it too if it weren't for these. <laughs> if it weren't for these social media scholars, uh, I would. I would love to see uh, the price is never going to come down on that thing. But I would love to see the secondary market flippers get dealt a blow. That's what I'd love to see. Is Tri-State in here? What's up, Tri-State? Make sure you guys subscribe to Tri-State. The Eagle Rock, dude, the Eagle Rock is buried under like, <laughs> under like 60 pounds of knives. It is, let me count, it is four Pelican cases down. I'm not, I am in no mood to lift those cases right now. I have got to reorganize this area. It, I have pelican cases on top of pelican cases. I'm I'm a I'm not a real life hoarder, but I am absolutely a knife hoarder. As much as I give away, like I keep so much of this stuff. Yeah, each one of those pelican cases, when they're full, probably weighs fifty for uh forty five pounds, fifty pounds maybe. And the big one definitely weighs way more than the eighty count case weighs way more than that. Is it all black? No, mine's, it's S90V, it's like glass blasted, and then the zirconium and carbon fiber one. What's the finish on the MSI scale? I don't know what they call the finish, but it's, it's like very dark aluminum. Like a very gritty aluminum. It's really cool. It's, I mean, it fits the MSI super well. Those are such nice scales. Dude, there are a hundred, like before I started the live stream, there's a hundred people waiting in chat. <laughs> Thank you. That's cool. Thank you. Rich T, welcome to the Knights Around Knights. Raise your swords for Rich T. Raise those gorts. Raise your gorts. You're back and ready to win. Hey. Everyone who has ever won has said, I'm never going to win. I promise you. At least thought it in their mind. Lucifer the <laughs> 499. Excalibur OEM is Kun Wu. Interesting guess. $450 prize is an 80-20. Interesting guess. I still need to ship you some goodies. Show us the Nick Nichols Dreadnought. 
right here. Cool knife. Well made USA uh, knife. More kind of in the style of 2012, but still cool and obviously USA made. Has a bit of double clutch, not gonna lie. But is it well made? It absolutely is. And I love the full length fuller because you can actually utilize it. Real nice and un ungodly sharp. It's so bitey, man. That is such a nasty edge on that thing, but really cool. And I love the laser uh, work on the scales. You can pick those up at USA Made Blade. I gotta ask Scott what he wants me to do with that. I haven't touched it or done anything with it yet because I'm, I, I don't know what he wants me to do with it. I, he might want me to send it back or he might want me to give it away. I, I have to ask Scott. Do you guys know Scott Whittington from USA Made Blade? Like one of the, one of the coolest people if you've ever talked to them, he's one of the nicest guys. He's one of the coolest people that I've met. I've known him forever. He still doesn't remember my his first interaction with me, but I, before I started the channel, I traded with Scott on Blade Forms. I traded him a, a USA uh, Chavez 228 for an XM18. He traded with me. It was an XM18 three and a half inch slicer. I'll never forget that. I, I, uh, I said, uh, will, will you trade? And he said, yeah. And I told him, I was like, that's our first interaction. He's like, I don't remember that. <laughs> that was years ago, man. That was like eight or nine years ago, I think. Something like that. Long time ago. Bull Mastiff knockoff. Man, hold on a sec. Bull Mastiff. Hold on a sec. Let's see what you guys are talking about here. You're talking about the Civivi Bull Mastiff? Guys. Hold on. You think this you think Civivi came up with that profile? You think the the origins of this profile were Civivi? <laughs> Come on. Come on. No. 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 If this is a Pokemon battle, I'd, I'd click run right away. Run. Manage to flee. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use examples like that a lot because my son is uh, playing Pokemon for the first time. Uh, I started him on Fire Red. I'm very excited to take that journey with him. Uh, the music, uh, let's see, currently this is Snake, Rattle, and Roll. Uh, playing on a playlist, uh, 150 best NES music tracks. Five hours. <clears throat> Got my first nice watch today. Seiko 5 Series SRPD51. I haven't memorized those codes, but cool. Seiko, I've collected 150 knives in the last one and a half years. Holy crap. This is the start of a similar path, I'm afraid. It is, Gregory Peck. Uh, it absolutely is. Thanks for your donation. But congratulations on your acquisition. I used to play Pokemon Go a lot. Like, I really... And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I used to cheat. That's right, I was a cheater. I spoofed my GPS, and I caught some crazy stuff. And I played. It was really fun for a while, and I, would, I was on the Discords, and I was... You know, people would drop coordinates, and I'd spoof my GPS, and I'd go to those coordinates, and I'd catch absolutely ridiculous stuff uh shiny legendaries and all this and it was really fun but i was like man like i'm not really playing it right and so i stopped playing can you still spoof the gps is there still can you still do it i was a cheater absolutely they're cracking down on people now for spoofing okay all right Left of the Winter Blade. That's the uh, Voodoo. The Null Voodoo. In my opinion, the coolest knife that he ever produced. God, I hope he does more of these. I think he should do an XL Voodoo and a smaller Voodoo as well because the the handle profile is so open, it would work super well. God, this is such a gorgeous knife, man. What a unique and super cool design. The only problem with this playlist is that the audio is like way up and down. 
The steel in the Voodoo, I believe, is M390. Yeah, it's in cursive right there, Reich style, M390. The Voodoo is beautiful. Anybody who owns it, I guarantee it feels the same way. The EK. This is the EK folder, integral. Very unique. Very interesting. Uh, uh, Ishowitz and Les George collaboration. Uh, manufacturer's Quechua. So beautiful execution here. Integral frame. I opted for the all black uh, and the uh, black. It's my, like a bayonet grind. Really cool. Definitely the one I've been taking out at night and just playing with. Um, I, I know that they're making more. So if you check that website, if you go to if you go to Ishowitz, uh, his Instagram, and you click on his link and it says sold out, pay attention to his Instagram because they're going to drop more. In fact, they told me um, to hold off on the review, which I'm going to do because I want I want people to actually be able to grab these or try to grab them like after I drop the video. I don't always do that, but um, I haven't filmed the review for this yet, but he said, we're going to do more. So if you could hold off for a little bit. And I said, yeah, no problem, because it's a cool knife. What's under the link in description card? That's the AGA Camplin Dragonfly gravity knife. I'll do that slowly. <laughs> Such an unsafe knife. So this, I whipped it down and this comes down and this comes out and then it comes up and this comes over here. I say it's unsafe because there's just a million ways to cut yourself. There's no pocket clip. There's no safe down. There's nothing holding in this initial this initial sheath. But it's fun to play with. It's 440C. It's horrifically, like, it's such an inexpensive build. They charge 75 bucks for it. Realistically, it's a $20 knife. It's fun, though. Oh, legendary. We have to take a moment to enjoy this. How many memories does this bring back for you guys? This, the music gives me anxiety, honestly, just because the game gets so stressful. It doesn't get more iconic than this. Like almost everybody in chat, I guarantee you recognizes this music. Your whole childhood. My brother had this awesome computer class where they were learning about like grids and the assignment, like, after they finished their work for the day, the teacher said, I want you to play Legend of Zelda, and I want you to draw the map one square at a time. They had a huge piece of grid paper, and the, 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 the semester assignment was to draw the map of Legend of Zelda one block at a time. And I was like, what an awesome assignment. So my brother, he said, like, outside of the simple work we did in class, we literally played Legend of Zelda, and we recreated the map. And I was like, why, why couldn't I do something? He said that was like, it was like seventh grade. I was like, what an awesome, that's so cool, man. Ah, sick. So cool. I don't know what the family movie is tonight. They haven't paid, I think they're eating pizza right now. Who's... Who's excited for, um, speaking of Breath of the Wild, because the, when I think of Breath of the Wild, I'm like, I'm thinking of games that I enjoy that remind me of it, but not, not exactly the same. Uh, obviously the comparison here is like going to be, it's arguable, but yeah, exactly. Night's Edge, you, you brought it up right there. Shadow of the Erd Tree. Thanks for your donation. I am so excited for Shadow of the Erd Tree. I have so many games to finish. I've not finished the second God of War. I've not finished uh, the newest Final Fantasy game. I've not finished Baldur's Gate 3. I still want to play WoW Classic, Wrath of the Lich King. I'm not playing Diablo this season. I'm taking a break. Um, I'm also trying to play Final Fantasy 6. I'm trying to replay that game because I've forgotten how good of a game it was. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. Yeah, the, have you guys all seen the trailer for Shadow of the Erd Tree? Even if you don't like video games, 
or you have no idea what Elden Ring is, if you watch the trailer for Shadow of the Earth Tree, I promise you it'll give you chills. You'll be like, I have no idea what's going on, but I suddenly feel like I need to strap up with a suit of armor, get on my horse, and slay down some beasts. Like, that trailer was absolutely ridiculous, man. I was there the moment it dropped. I was there with everybody watching the live drop of the trailer, and I was like, oh, let's go. This looks so good. My character's on uh, New Game Plus 1. I didn't go much further because I didn't want to unbalance anything, but uh, he's like level 182, and I'm just going to go in from there. I created a monster out of you. A lot of people tell me that I, uh, I don't say created. Let's rephrase that. I brought out that monster. I'm like that old Namekian that put his hand on Gohan's head and was like, here you go. Here's your secret. This is your inner power. It's been in the, it's been there the whole time. And he touches his head. That's me. I'm that fat old Namekian. <laughs> it's always been there. Uh, it's, uh, I didn't. I didn't make anybody. I'm glad a few people picked up on that reference. I was watching chat. I was like, "Oh God, do people know what I'm talking about?" I, I hope they do. Just increased your base stats. That's all I did. That's all I did. Just evolved you with a firestone. That's all I did. It's like evolving Growlithe early. You can wait until Growlithe learns Flamethrower and then evolve him into Arcanine, but if you know how Pokemon works, you don't wait for that. You evolve him early, and then you teach him Flamethrower from the, the, the coin place. Because then you get the stat boost as you level up. Come on. I'm just evolving you guys early. How do you enter the giveaway? Right here, right here, friendo. How to enter. There's a link in the description. Open the description to the live stream right at the top. The very first link says, enter here, live participation required. Click on that link and simply leave a comment. I mean, I would prefer that you watch the video so you understand how it works, but it's pretty simple. Just leave a comment. Don't say the F word. Just type cheeseburger or corn dog or something like that. That'll work. That way YouTube doesn't filter you. Just to reiterate, none of the models on the table are actually part of the giveaway. This is just... I lay knives out so you guys don't have to look at my stupid face. I want you guys to look at knives. I want to talk about knives and whatever else. Uh, these are just eye candy. But I can promise you the knives I'm giving away are pretty cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I bait you in. I, I lay all the super shiny stuff. I mean, sometimes I give, I like, especially on um, major events, like the half million, we're already at 440,000 subs, by the way, guys. That one short, I, that one short that I did, top 10 gooby woobies, I got 15,000 subs off that one short. Um, so, you know, if stuff like that keeps happening, we'll be at half a million soon, and I promise you, it'll be some wild stuff. Top right, Zerkatai. That's actually Mokatai. That's a Leong Ma Model 18. Absolutely capped out. I love this is one of my favorite integrals. Leong Ma does not get enough credit for what an amazing design this is. Um, the Model 18 is absolutely spectacular, and I don't think people realize he has eggshell textured the titanium. Beautiful Mokatai inlay here on this version. Damage Steel Blade Mokatai Pocket Clip. One of the most beautiful integral knives. I did pay a lot of money for this. I want to say, boy, this this was a crazy price. But I honestly, at this point, I can't remember what I paid for it. But I knew as soon as I saw it, I was like, I got to have that. Absolutely wicked. Uh, the moment Leong Ma releases another full-size integral with all these options, I'm buying it. I'm in. I love those designs. Do I still have the machine-wise? Yeah, the Sonora, it's right here. 
gorgeous. If you're a, a big on USA stuff, this should be on your radar. Integral button lock, beautiful machining. Magna cut, beautiful near mirror polished edge. The widening of the cutting bevel is on purpose on both sides. 650 bucks is very fair. Considering there's another company out there, <coughs> James Brand, uh, selling uh, their integral for about the same price, but it's made in China. So come on now. I think like I could get into James Brand's Riot stuff if they price them accordingly. Like, come on. 500 bucks? Sure. 500 bucks. I think that'd be that'd be acceptable, not amazing, but acceptable. But what do they charge for that? 650? Should we turn the music? Yeah, the Avera's up here too. Um the Aver is wonderful. This is, uh, oh God, uh, Exceed Design. Look at that beautiful tumbled finish on there. Whoa, boy. What's the price on the Aver? They just sent this to me. I love how they textured the captive pivot there. Um, I, what's the price on this guy? Still wearing the uh, Pelagos. The Pelagos is really like not nothing. I have no interest in wearing any of my other watches right now, uh, except for the Pelagos. Um, I'm adjusting it. I love the being able to adjust it on the fly. That's a really big deal. Um, but the Pelagos is like, that's the only watch I've been wearing and I love it. No regrets whatsoever with that purchase. Very cool. And I've got marks and nicks all over it. This is, it's an expensive tool watch, but I'm, I'm happy to mark it up. The Exceed is 387. Okay. Is the Exceed made in the United States or no? How much was the watch? Um, so they retail, like, okay, they retail for 5,000, but you should never pay 5,000 for it. A lot of times you'll see them listed for 4,500. I actually got mine for $3,900. Um, and I had I had some assistance in, in uh, finding and making sure that the retailer was authentic. Um, I had a little bit of help from Nick and I had a little bit of help from Levon, but I, I bought that watch for 3,900. Do a giveaway for the Pelagos. No, I'm going to keep that. <laughs> I've been saving for the Pelagos for months. Months. I had a Pelagos fund for probably five months. You like that Demco? Me too. Big fan of that. And with the skiff bearings. Oh, it's kind of scary with the scorpion lock. This is broken in so beautifully, man. So beautifully. I think the, am I wrong? It, doesn't the Avair also have skiff bearings? This is beautifully smooth and control. Look how controlled this is. Oh, that's just perfect. What a gorgeous knife, man. I don't like that it says Avair. This is like aviation text. This looks like something that would be printed on the back of an airplane. More Legend of Zelda. Dungeon music. Do they have metal covers of this? Surely, surely there are metal covers all over YouTube of. Oh, listen to those arpeggios. Oh, Chris. Oh, the the chills, the arpeggio chills. That the finish of that four four time signature there. They do the building arpeggios. Here it comes again. Wait, wait. Oh, God, that gives me chills. I look so beautiful. And surely there are metal covers of this. Uh, like, that, they have to be, like, littered all over YouTube. That's the first thing I'm going to do after I'm done here. Dune 2 was great. I'll have to check that out. I still haven't made it through Dune 1. It's so hard to get through. Nice. Yeah, that's a flex. <laughs> Thanks, Andy Lynn. Appreciate that.
What's the one with three, three gold pins? This is the EK folder from Alan Ishowitz and Les George. Integral, made by Ketchuo. Beautiful. <sighs> Excuse me. Now, you know why you say music th music theory? I, I, I get my terminology wrong a lot. And my um, I know I know if I try to speak on music, my, my mom, is if she's watching, is probably correcting me on a bunch of different things like how you label certain things and i don't i'm not educated enough to be able to label things correctly but i do you know i get the feels for certain things if you watch my instagram then you know that my music taste is all over the place uh and there's just certain I, I don't really care what genre it is uh, there's just certain trends uh transitions and uh, progressions i guess that like i'm like oh oh you know Classical music, especially like really intense classical music, really gets me. And a lot of it, it, it translates so well into heavy metal. And it's funny how how so much 8-bit music is like clearly written. I feel like a lot of people who create NES music like have to know how to play the guitar really well. Or the piano, at least. It's just, it's so crazy how that a lot of that stuff uh, is very similar. Vivaldi. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Storm. Where's the Pokemon capsule? It's gone. Actually, a patron bought that. I sold that on Patreon for one thirty, I think. If the person who bought it's in here, they could tell you, but... It's actually a good, there's about a thousand people in here, so I'll plug my Patreon. Have you ever wondered what I do on Patreon? I remind people all the time. What does Metal Complex do with the Patreon funds? Uh, I buy knives. That's what my patrons expect me to do. That's what I have always been open and honest about on this channel. I will take the funds from Patreon and I will buy knives and I will turn those knives into content. Um, I also upload once a week exclusive content. They're usually behind the scenes stuff. Um, I do once a month Patreon exclusive giveaways and currently I'm doing a knife sale and I do these periodically because I receive a lot of stuff for free from OEMs and retailers. Now a lot of that stuff is given away on live streams but some of it is sold on Patreon at a massive discount and this helps me fund projects and other things that I want to share with you guys in the form of content. So it's a great way for you to support the channel and at the same time you're feeding my habit. But before you join you should know exactly what I'm doing there and what I'm doing with the money. I want to make sure and be open and honest with everybody. So that's what's happening there. You'll also gain access to my exclusive Patreon chat and exclusive Discord where people chat and buy, sell, and trade from each other. Uh, if you want to join Patreon, it's actually linked right at the top of chat. That link right at the top says Metal Complex, my Patreon. There's a link right there. So if you want to join, you can join for as low as $1 a month and you'll gain access to literally everything with that basic tier. You can join a higher tier if you want, but there's literally no difference. So my advice would be, Join for a dollar if you want to, and you'll get all of it. Anyways, I'm at the la that tail end of the knife sale. I think I have 10 more knives to sell on Patreon. What is this? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that. He says, when are you going to do a live with your ugliest knives? I keep forgetting to do that. That's such a good idea. I, I want to have a conversation with Nick um, about reviving. Um... Damn, what is this? Simon's Quest, of course. Castlevania 2. God, the music is so good. Um, this has to, this is metal. This is metal. Um, but uh, I want to have a conversation with Nick about reviving um, Terrible Knives Live. I think one of the greatest gifts that was ever given to the knife community was when Nick would go live and would review absolutely trash. <laughs> God, that is so good. But that's his thing. And I want to ask him if he plans to revive it himself. And if he doesn't, I want to ask him if he would ever do one with me uh, or, you know, what his thoughts are. Because, like, I love the idea, but, but like, that's... That's such a unique idea. And he's a genius for for bringing that up. I, I love the idea of having um, 
people submit absolutely terrible knives. <laughs> it's such a great idea. Um, but uh, I'm trying to figure out how, how that would work. I, I, I want to talk with Nick about it. That was my favorite thing. That's my favorite live stream to watch. And um, whenever he did it, I would just ravenously click that button and jump in because it was so entertaining. So good, right? How many of you in here were ha have ever joined one of his old live streams where he would... He had like a buddy in TSA that just gave him a giant bag of confiscated knives at the airport. That was so amazing. You guys remember that one? And he just went through and, <laughs> and just tore them apart. The stupid stuff that people were carrying. And on top of that, carried it to the airport. Oh, man. Uh, it's just legendary content. That's one of the... I'm sorry, if you've never seen that, I'm pretty sure it's a live stream he did. It was like a huge box of TSA confiscations. And they were all just terrible. So good. Oh, my God. I want to say that has over 100,000 views, and it's a live stream. You ever carry a fixed blade? I'll, I'll show you the, the fixed blade that I do carry periodically. It's such a cool knife. Hold on. Where is it? There it is. It's a chickadee. This little guy right here fits in my pocket. And this was by, um, uh, who makes a chickadee? Help me out. Uh, shoot. So, so cool. Like the sheath and everything is so cool. Help me out. Who does a chickadee? Who does it? I got to call. I got to make sure people know where to, where to follow. Jalen creates. Yeah. Jalen creates Instagram. Such a wonderful fixed blade. And I carry it. Just, just for the joy of carrying a fixed blade periodically. And I, I carry it because it's it's a good size for EDC and it works. I can just throw this knife in my pocket. You got to get that snap on there just right. And I miss it every time. I, I carried this for a while and I got to the point where I knew exactly where, where it needed to be to snap down. But then I now I'm missing it. There we go. It's actually really easy. It's just a certain position. But so good and you don't need to unsnap that that's the thing i keep thinking i need to but you don't need to but it's such a cool knife i need to actually ask him about newer projects but this is such a beautifully created custom little fixed blade he does awesome work like it's so beautiful such a great knife really slicey nice grind just just perfect this is the type of fixed blade i like to carry because i don't a full-size fixed blade is too big i would love to carry the demco free reign I would love to, but this is, it's just too big. It's its like the ideal fixed blade for me if I'm going to go outside and like work with it, but it's too big. This is the USA version in Magna Cut, and I love this. One of my favorite fixed blades ever for the design, but it's too big for me to EDC. I mean, you got, I'm a, I'm a full-time YouTuber. Like, imagine, like me in sweatpants, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, but around the house, I put this in sweatpants? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. This is perfect. I love it. You should check out Jalen Creates on Instagram. Hit him up. He makes some pretty cool stuff. I'm pretty sure his prices are awesome, too. I like the little SC knives. The Azula 2, I think, is an excellent EDC fixed plate. How good is the Sonora actually? It looks fantastic. It really, it really is amazing. I'm gonna have that that review is gonna be a gush fest. Machine wise, oh my goodness, put them on your radar. Wow, wow, they are obsessed with quality. You can t this this knife is oozing with quality. They are clearly obsessive, and they really want feedback. They really want like critique. They're like, tell us if there's anything that is weird or not in spec or that doesn't feel right i mean like they they really wanted to know so i i told them i was like it's this is hard to critique like it's really great so yeah i'm, I'm loving that the giveaway happens soon wow there's 1100 people in here thank you guys so much for 
keeping the population consistently high. I don't know what I did to deserve the high population live streams, but I am loving it. Thank you guys for being here. I also like how positive the chat usually is. I mean, you'd think with a thousand people in here, when chat moving pretty quickly, you'd get more negative people, but it, people are just pretty positive. Uh, maybe I, maybe it's because I don't, I don't, I'm not always looking at chat. <laughs> MC, I'm starting to design and make knives, and I would love to show you my most recent design if there's any way I can reach out to you. You can email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com. Don't fret if I don't email back right away and, and just understand there's a lot of emails coming in. Every time I say my email, I get a ton of emails from people. I'll try to look. You can also DM me um, on Instagram and I'll try to remember to look. There's just a lot going on on Friday nights. So don't be offended if I don't email back, but there, there is a chance I'll see it or remember it and, and email you uh, back. Um, but uh, it's my, my plate gets fuller by the day. So, but I appreciate you reaching out. Mama says you're the devil. <laughs> Everything is the devil to you, Mama! The economy, yes. What's the blue spider code? That's the Knife Joy exclusive uh, Sleash Bowie. And by the way, guys, here's something that's unavoidable and kind of annoying because of the finish. You probably can't see it. The moment you remove that little sticker, you see how this moves? It's, it rubs the ammo off, and, and you're going to see that. And it's, I watched Nick's video on this, and he's absolutely right. The finish on this really feels kind of like a downgrade, and it that pocket clip just immediately rubs it away, and you're going to be looking at it. See, look at those spots under there. It flexes, so you're. it's just what's going to happen. I don't like the blue finish on that. I wish they would do the original finish. Yeah, that denim, that denim blue, man, that just rubs immediately through. That's like, it's like I was saying earlier. I mean, like every time people see that, the knee-jerk reaction is to talk about the fact that it's not worth 450, and that's correct. We're all in agreement on that. But there's absolutely nothing we we can do about it. It's they're not going to bring the price down, and it is forever the most inexpensive the knife is ever going to be. Your options are buy it for 450 in the 10 second window you have to buy it or buy it on the secondary market for substantially more. And that will not end until there is better availability for the knife. I would love to see other retailers do their own version of it. I would love to see Spyderco bring that back as a regular production knife. The price is never going to come down, but at least we're not like limited to a small release window for the $450 price tag and a never ending poisonous secondary market for the thing. Or have better taste. Good taste is uh, entirely made up. This is my theory on good taste. Good taste requires that you have an audience of like-minded people to offer reaffirmation for it. Good taste and bad taste only exist in the minds of the people who are presenting the objects and the people who are receiving the object. So if by any standard you have good taste in something, if we were to change the world where everybody... <laughs> like, good taste is like this small little circle, right? So no matter what, no matter what population people consider something to be in good taste, if it's art, any form of it, there's an infinite number of people who would argue against it. Good taste requires the reaffirmation of a certain audience of people. And you have to subject yourself to those people's opinions specifically for that reaffirmation. So, don't waste your time on titles like good taste or bad taste. It's your taste. If you like it, thumbs up. If everybody else in the whole world hates it, who cares? Have more Gatorade. I like that one. I like that one. Donuts taste good. I also like that one. That's a good one. Put that on a t-shirt. Cedar, also excellent. God, so good. Good lord. What a... <laughs> what a... 
What a freak beast of a night. I can't wait to see uh, what Rob Johnson's does in the future because that's, whoops, that's really great. I also really want to get my hands on the XL Rosie. For sure. Your taste is in your mouth. That's factually true. I mean, look at this table. Most of these knives I own. I mean, like, what is my taste, right? I mean, it's all over the place. It's whatever. I, I stopped worrying about, like, following a theme, and I just started, like, buying whatever I liked. Same with the music I listen to. You just like whatever you want. If you're new to if you're new to the knife world, if you're new to any in enthusiast community, don't get caught up on like certain groups' opinions on like what is the right or wrong thing to enjoy aesthetically. All right? There's lots of like really nose in the air people are like, uh, yes, it's so 2013. Uh, your tastes are so uh, that's ancient. You only like things that are from the past, and of course. We, the enthusiast elite, have evolved beyond the simple concepts of the peasants of the... The simple... <laughs> the filthy casuals. Don't get caught up in that, because they're, they're idiots. <laughs> they don't know anything. Your taste will evolve, and, and like, like what you enjoy will, can go off in a, a myriad of different paths, right? Nobody's right. It's just whatever you decide to like in that, that place and time. Right. That's the accent that goes with it. You've seen the meme from Twilight where the council is like looking down over the balcony. That's the that's that accent. No, but that's the you. But that's the thing. You, I like Chris Reeve knives. You can still like stuff. Like you don't have to. There's no like trends. Here's the thing. If there's a trend happening and you like it, that's okay. You can like it. You don't have to be like, oh, I'm anti-trend. Like, that's just that's just annoying. Like, don't be, like, selectively anti-trend. Ask yourself personally, do you like the thing that is the trend? And if you honestly like it, then go for it. Who cares? Right? You don't have to, like, selectively and aggressively be in the minority. You can just like what you like. If it's old and you like it, then like it. If it's new and you like it, then like it. Who cares? It's just a waste of time to worry about the opinions of any select population of people. What's your opinion on ADV knives? I think they're really cool. They're super aggressive looking, kind of out there, over the top. But that's always been his style, right? He stayed to his style. It's it's so easy to identify an Andre de Villiers because it's it's always the same aesthetic outside of the collaboration he did with Reich with it. I think it was was it the was it a collab with Reich, the alien-looking thing? Most of the ADV's knives have a, a very consistent aesthetic, and that's what makes ADV knives cool. Is he's he's like I don't care what anybody else thinks. I make the same thing all the time, or not exactly the same thing, but a lot of the same type of stuff. Big Jump says my wife is old and I like her. I, I salute you. I think that's great. Initial thoughts on the Winter, Blo Winter Blade Maglev or Mirage? The Mirage I've reviewed, and it's cool. The problem is that he set such a high standard. If if that if the Mirage was his only release, it would be spectacular. But it's a spectacular knife that is inevitably weighed against his other spectacular designs. Brian Winters doesn't make B tier stuff. He makes A and S tier stuff. So his worst is usually some of the best on the market. Does that make sense? No, this is, hold on. This is the where the jogging scene in a punch out. Yeah, this is punch out, the training scene, where he's wearing a pink jumpsuit. What is up with that? What's the cleaver top row fourth in? Uh, that's the uh, Nicholas Nichols. Crap. It's in Magna Cut. Super high Rockwell, too. Nicholas Nichols, um, help me. 
Help me. I depend on you. Nicholas Nichols. Help! <laughs> Somebody! A <laughs> dreadnought. God, it's the dreadnought. <laughs> Thank you. I think USA Made Blade is selling those right now. What's right below? Man, you guys have a lot of questions about that. That's the EK uh, folder. Modeled after the EK Dagger. This is an Alan Eishowitz and Les George collaboration. Integral. Beautiful. One of the most unique folders that's come out in the last year or so. Um, integral. Uh, made uh, Manufactured by Quechua. So very, very high quality manufacturing there. Really unique look. You did not miss it. If you're just joining and you're like, did I miss the giveaway? Did he do the thing? I didn't do the thing yet. I'm still talking. This is still me time. This is still me pretending everybody is here for me and is not here for the giveaway. <laughs> this is ego boost time, ladies and gentlemen. This is me pretending that my content is high quality enough that I can attract people from my personality and not the free knives I give away. <laughs> It's all right. There's no reason we can't all agree to that, huh? Some of you are here to hang out with me, but it's all right. We call it for what it is. There's nothing wrong with that. A little bit of honesty never hurt anybody. A little bit of self-awareness. I haven't even taken my pee break yet. That's a good point. That's coming up. It's about 7.30. I know, Chris, that's not what I meant. <laughs> He's like, I didn't ask for that. I didn't I didn't mean to open that can of worms. <laughs> a lot of times you ask me a question, I'll answer it and then go off on a totally unrelated <laughs> tangent. <laughs> what color Gatorade? It's always amber. It's always light, 95 calorie amber. You sure love talking. Have you gathered that? <laughs> Is that, is that just now apparent that I like talking? It's not even that I like to hear myself talk because I actually hate it. When I go back and I listen to these live streams, if you're wondering, like, I wonder if MC ever goes back and listens to this freaking dog and pony show. The answer is yes. And I cringe through the whole thing. I have listened to one of my live streams front to back and the next day and just been like, Oh my God, it is a miracle that people say, I'm, I'm being honest with you guys. It's a miracle that people sit here and listen. I mean, <laughs> thank goodness for your kindness. But I, like, it is truly, I mean, like if, if this is a, like a, a PlayStation, you, you all deserve platinum trophies for making it through one of my live streams. It's really, it's really wild. So thank you. Well, you're giving away knives. That's a good point. Exactly. White man says, dumb. Show the knives. Talk about them, not football. Maybe I'm mistaken. Now, you guys call me out on this. Maybe I'm mistaken, but I don't remember mentioning football tonight. Has there been a, a moment where I've mentioned football? I don't, I don't think so. We've talked about Pokemon. We've talked about Dragon Ball Z. Uh, we have not talked about football tonight. Is a seven worth the price? Absolutely. You mentioned football, and you're going to find out how many football fans there are in here. You know, the irony of that, on the topic of football, that guy was upset that I talk about football too much after having not talked about football. So ironically, I'm going to transition the conversation to football. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real with you guys. I had no opinion on Taylor Swift before, but watching so many people be bothered by the, the trivial nature of the whole thing. I think I've actually become an aggressive uh, Taylor Swift fan. I might even start listening to her music. I might even do it just out of spite. A lot of that has to do with the fact that she's on our side. <laughs>
God and Taylor Swift have made sure that we, <laughs> we have won the Super Bowl again. And that just supremely annoys people. Still, though, I have to say this every time. I, I really do respect the 49ers. Like, watching that game, that was so stressful. And the 49ers clearly have an amazing football team. So, if you're a 49ers fan, I was terrified the whole time. The 49ers were terrifying. And there's a million ways they could have won that game. So, again, all the respect in the world. And to the Ravens! That was also a terrifying game. I think they, they didn't play anywhere near to their maximum capacity. If they... If they played to their maximum potential, we could have easily lost that game. And everybody knows that. That's because the NFL is rigged! Oh! Drink more paint. Just, if you were drinking paint before and then you said that, just drink more paint. Like, it's, you know, whatever. Don't drink paint. Don't do that. That's, I, I mean, I don't mean that literally. Figuratively. Stop drinking paint. Alright, hold on, hold on. Taylor Swift have no, has no opinion on knives. There's no way. I don't actually follow her her social media. I just I just like stirring the pot. People hate Taylor Swift because she's dead. If Taylor Swift told people to vote, they would hate her. And if they told if she told people not to vote, they would hate her. And if she said two plus two equals four, they would hate her. I it's guys, this name if you're a celebrity, like that's just how it works. I love Taylor Swift and I don't care what you think. <laughs> Dads, Brads, and Chads getting upset. James Greider, thanks for your donation. What's your favorite knife on the table right now? It's a good question. Let's transition back to knives. That one guy told me not to talk about football, so I had to talk about football. And, of course, you can't talk about football as a Kansas City Chiefs fan without talking about Taylor Swift. So, transitioning back to knives, my favorite knife on the table. Hmm. Stellar, Cedar, uh, yeah, Stitch, yeah, this is hard. Ah, uh, uh, favorite nothing to, it's, it's, I think it's the Model 18. Uh, just, there's, I have a lot of respect for this design, and I think it's pretty under-celebrated. I think so. You know what we haven't talked about tonight is my new EDC. I did order a... Actually, this has got some good... Uh, I'll have to prove it to the high, the hardcore users uh, who are like, oh, he doesn't use his knives. Um, this has gotten a pretty good workout this week, but the, um, the Skaha 2, the new one, I finally got mine in. And wow, it's great. I don't like the angle of the flipper tab still, but a really good knife. Okay, you know what it's time for? It's time for me to utilize my bathroom break. What time is it? Oh, it's 7.30. It's time, to, it's time for the bathroom break. When we come back, we're gonna do the giveaway. Don't leave. When we come back, it's time for the giveaway. If you wanna join Knights of the Round, Knights in chat, badges, Excalibur emojis, you can join Knights of the Round down in the description by clicking on the link that says, become a member of my channel. You can also join Patreon for a bunch of exclusive benefits like private knife sales, private giveaways, private chat, private discord, once a week exclusive content. All of that linked at the top of the chat. All right, second plug, we're done with that. I'm gonna go to the bathroom.
Record time. Record time. God, I wish you guys could see my podunk setup in here. A, a few people have actually seen what my um, my YouTube studio looks like, and it's just an absolute disaster. <laughs> you would never believe. You would never believe that I was like a full time YouTuber if you looked at my my little studio down here. I'm in a storage room. Can you tell? I still use note cards. Uh, let's move all these out of the way, and we're going to get the uh, giveaway underway. There's 16 knives left of the mystery pouches. Um, by the way, if you haven't entered yet, now's the time. Okay? There's almost 1,500 of you in here. You need to make sure you're entered. Follow the instructions on these note cards. It's very important. You are not entered by simply being in chat. You have to actually open the description, click on the link in the description, uh, and then leave a comment under that video. Don't worry, I'm not trying to trick you into buying anything or becoming a member of anything. I'm gonna promote my stuff where I make money throughout the live stream, but it, it, it's truly free for everybody to enter. Um, so just follow the instructions. The only reason for the, if you're new, the only reason for the secondary link is to keep all the comments in one place. It's not trickery or wizardry or slip of the hand or anything like that. Don't worry. I'm a professional YouTuber. I would never follow these instructions, okay? Let me get everything loaded up here. Do these, do the note cards, do them. Listen to these sweet Kirby tunes. Man, the perforated uh, background is really like almost an exact, I haven't realized it until this exact moment. It really is almost an exact copy of Nick's background. I can see why he uses it. It really is a nice background to review knives on, but I don't know about you guys. I think it might be time for an upgrade. It's been a long time since I've changed the background on this channel. It's been like two years. You think maybe it's time for a, a change of scenery? At 500K, you guys remind me, at 500,000 subscribers, I will change the background. Macaroni and cheese texture. Kirby's so good. Such a good game. Give me a sec here. I'm trying. If you're wondering, like, why all the silence? I'm trying to find the video so I can copy the link because I have to use the third-party website to draw the name. We're gonna draw it live with Comment Picker. Okay, let's get the knives out so you guys can see what pouches you can choose from. They are identical, all of them. Start picking out what you're gonna pick. Look at the pouches. Can you tell? Are some thicker than others? Are some thinner? Do some seem more dense? Hmm? Now's the time to scope out your winnings. 16 knives. There could be anything in there. One pouch factually contains a knife worth 450 Well, I say 450 It might be 425 It's over $400, and it is American-made. But there's also scattered amongst, amongst this group a bunch of premium knives. Not quite 450 or so, but premium knives nonetheless. So... Start picking them out. Feel it. Feel it. Go with your gut. All right. Here's the Comment Picker website. We're going to refresh the page so everybody can see that it is, in fact, a fresh page. We're going to come in here and we're going to copy the link, which is the private link that you all entered under right here. Feel free to check that out if you want to. Pause the video and type that in for yourself to make sure. We're going to filter duplicate users and that makes sure that no matter what, everybody has the same chances of winning. So if you left 500 comments, RIP, they only count for one. Uh, we're going to come down here and we're going to get YouTube comments. We're going to see how many people entered. There's about 1,500 of you in here right now. So my guess is there's about 1,650 entries roughly. Let's see if I'm right. I've done this a few times, so I'm just making a guess. Are you all entered? God dang, I was off by a few. 1,704 entries. 
1,526 people in here right now. The first winner for tonight is... Oh, <laughs> have to tap it directly. The first winner for tonight is... Justin Prouse, 4240. Still didn't win, or did I? This is what I'm talking about. Everybody who thinks they didn't win, they won. This gent right here with this beautiful picture, with this beautiful beard, and this beautiful background here with yellow daisies in the back, whatever's in the background. Justin is who we're looking for. Justin is immediately here. There he is right there. Beautiful picture. Wonderful beard. Wonderful shirt, by the way. You just won. Congratulations. Let's do this. You have one through eight on top, one through eight on bottom. You can choose two from the top, two from the bottom, whatever you want. One is over here, eight is over here on both top and bottom. Just give me two numbers and I'll draw them. Everybody else shut shut your face for a second and let him draw. Shut up! I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. Just please quiet down. Just settle down. <laughs> let him choose. Top six, bottom three. Two, three, four, five, six. Top six. Bottom three, one, two, three. He has chosen. He has chosen. These are Civivi pouches and Senkat pouches on purpose because they all look the same, but that is not indicative of what's inside. Not necessarily, anyway. Oh, we got a premium one. I believe this is the Kaiser Phoenix with the orange fat carbon. And, yep, that's the Phoenix and S35VN. <clears throat> Excuse me. Beautiful action, might I add, on this knife. Beautiful, beautiful, very controlled. Yes, wonderful. Nice full size knife, reverse flicky, flippery, all of that. That is definitely one of the premium boys, so congratulations there. Great success. Second knife, what do we have? Oh, he's got another nice knife. We have the QSP Penguin in Frag Titanium and 154 CM. This is what I'm talking about. The, the, the average quality of the knives this round is much higher. So you got two nice wins there. Very good. All you have to do, Justin, is email me at Metal. No, this is such a stupid card. It's just an envelope that I wrote on. Email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your full name, your full shipping information, and the exact knives that you want. Uh, don't worry if I don't email you back until all the way up until uh, next Friday. You will you will get your stuff. You'll get the boxes. You'll get tracking, all of that. You'll be good to go. Please don't email me if you didn't win. I had another person try to scam the last live stream. Shout out to the person who tried to scam. Uh, huge pie in your face. I figured it out immediately, and you're an idiot. So please... Just don't do that. I don't know what goes through people's heads where they're like, I could probably I could probably get free net. You can't. I've been doing this for a while, okay? Don't do it. It's just annoying. <laughs> it's just don't do it. I have a simple way of, of knowing who's telling the truth. It's so easy. So don't waste my time. And don't waste the winner's time. Congratulations, though, to Justin. You won. All right. I'm going to put these back in the pouches. The next time these come out will be for shipping. And outside of that, they will stay in their boxes, ready to go. Nice wins there. Nice picks. All right. I know that sounds mean, but like, listen, if you if you try to scam, like, I don't have to, I don't have to, I don't have to care about your feelings, right? Like, if you're trying to scam a live stream, like, don't, I don't have to care about your feelings. Undo pace. No, I don't want to do that. All right, we're gonna go back up. We're gonna refresh again. If you're not entered, enter. Do this. You got like less than a minute to do this if you're not entered. There's a link in the description. Just open it up real quick. Click on that link and leave a comment. That's all you got to do. You don't have to pay for anything. You don't have to buy for anything. It's all you got to do. Okay? Do it quick. Refresh. Paste. There it is. Same link. All right? Filter. Filter. Get YouTube comments. Here we go. Don't say that. Everybody who won says they never win. Every single person. That last comment says, I didn't win again. So you have to remember that. Have faith. Oops, we can't see it. 1766. The final winner tonight. Are you guys ready? Cross your fingers. It could be you.
Ilnand Noop. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to the show. It's a it's a brown G. Congratulations, you have won, Ilnand Noop. P. Uh, you have won. All you have to do is make yourself known in chat. We're looking for a brown G. No, I know it's not you. Don't say that. Hold on. I know how this works. I know people enter with alt accounts, by the way. If you think that's lost, I mean, it's not. I know. I know. If you're not doing that, you should be, right? Because I, I don't let people do duplicate uh, comments. So, I mean, I know you guys have like four or five alt accounts. That's how you troll people. Hold on, give him a sec. You say don't encourage it? Man, everybody knows though, like everybody. I'm not encouraging anything, like everybody knows. Everybody knows to do that. There's nothing I can do about it. I need a brown G, I need a brown G. Looking for a brown G. I'm going till 7.45 and I'm gonna redraw. Don't oh, slow down, guys. Let me look. Let me look. Brown G. Ill and Danoop. This happens every now and then. Not often, but it does happen. It's been a while since this has happened. No, time's not up yet. I got mine. I got mine set to the atomic clock. Hold on. Space Ghost won. I saw Space Ghost in here. I'm pretty sure he won the last giveaway. So he can tell you when, it, when uh, a win does happen to real people. All right. 7.45. It's time for a redraw. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Sorry. I, rules are rules. It's time for a redraw. Just making sure. Okay. Here we go. Next winner, please be here. The Philosolgernon. <laughs> what is this? Philosolgernon 565. Hope I win. Thanks for the content, MC. You're welcome. Pretty identifiable. I don't know what that is, but the logo there should be identifiable. Make yourself known in chat. I'm looking for it. Hold on, hold on. Don't say redraw yet. Yeah, there he is. He said no way. <laughs> he doesn't believe it. <laughs> I love, I man, there's nothing that brings me more joy than people who just absolutely don't believe that they're going to win, and they win. Yeah, he's here. All right, slow down. That I saw him. They're here. So let's let him. Uh... Yeah. Everybody slow down and let me look for his picks. His or her picks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on top. One to seven. Seven on top. One to seven on the bottom. Choose two. Can be from the top. Both from the top. Both from the bottom. Whatever you want. Slow down. Let him pick. Hold on, they're thinking. Top seven, bottom seven, good choice. He said, I'm going for the universal luck numbers. Top seven, oh, you got a premium one. The Migurom, this is the newest evolution of a model because it has the new pocket clip. Somebody's gonna help me out with that one. But M390, texture, titanium, contoured, all of that's a nice Migurom. Full premium. Uh, you'll have to uh, you'll have to help me. I always forget that model, the Gladiator, right? Yeah, premium Gladiator. Oh no, Gleer. It's the Gleer Two. That's what it is. That's right. Bottom one. Oh, you got the peepee. -pee. <laughs> 
The uh, CJRB. Um, why am I having such a brain fart on these? Uh, <laughs> this CJRB PP model. Somebody name it. Uh, the pyrite with the uh, the crossbar. Is it the pyro or the crossbar? What is it called? The hectare, yeah. You got the hectare, but... Yeah, special bonus. That's an S90V there, pal. That's not a budget knife. That's actually an S90V. So, not, uh, not a cheapo, for sure. Still two premium knives. Absolutely. So, nice draw. See, I told you. There's a chance everybody's going to draw nice knives tonight. Email me at metalcomplex87 at gmail.com with your full name, your full shipping information, and the exact knives that you want. And I will get those shipped off no later than Friday of next week. I will absolutely email you back with your shipping information and your track. Oh, I'm sorry, your tracking info. All righty. Nice. Nice picks tonight, guys. But the super ultra special surprise is still in there. Good stuff in there. There are admittedly still budget knives in there. And, I mean, no matter what, I mean, you're winning a free knife, right? So, but there's there's still a couple of budget knives in there. Um, but uh, there's a lot of premium stuff that people have not found yet. This is punch out as well, pretty sure. Bum, 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 bum. Punch out. Or is it? No, it's, oh, it's not punch out. Yeah, it's punch out. It is over. It is over. You no longer are required to sit here, hang out with bees or whoever's live right now. Unless you want to hang out with me, I'm going to be here for another 10 to 15 minutes. Just hanging out. After a... Sorry, one sec. Sometimes they get called away. Hold on. minutes 12 minutes 13 minutes something like that where is the attempted to get an arcane design vault have you handled it no i haven't in fact i feel like arcane has messaged me recently actually thank you for reminding me i'm wondering if that's what it was for I saw, he actually has my phone number, so I need to go back and go through my phone. If I could, if I could hang out with you guys for another hour, I absolutely would. They're already watching the movie up there without me, I can hear it. Whatever it is. No, it's all right. You can go. It's all right. No hard feelings if you have to leave. I'm not going to be upset. The bottom left OTF is the new Max Ace Tanto, which is very well built. Feels very similar to the Fire. This is kind of like Max Ace's Ultra Tech. And I forget what it's called, but it's in Magna Cut. 
Very nice. Definitely a more premium OTF with the Magna Cut and the carbon fiber. Really nice carbon fiber inlay there. Beautiful OTF with very minimal blade play. And I mean, ex like exceedingly minimal. Great firing power has never failed. Definitely one of those high tension uh, switches though. They do have a tritium slot in the switch and I don't know if that's meant to be a tritium slot. That's a big tritium slot right here, but the one in the switch is definitely, I can retract it with one finger. Can I get it? Yeah, I can, I can get, I've worked this finger out quite a bit. I can get it with my index finger. It takes a lot of force, though. <laughs> this is a pretty difficult knife to uh, deploy. Chat's wacky on mobile. You should have seen it when there was 1,500 people in here. I think we capped out at 1,600 tonight, which is pretty cool. Welcome, new subscribers. I know there's at least one person in here who subscribed from watching my... Um, Top 10 Gooby Woobies short. So welcome if that's how you, I'm sure you're very confused. I can't imagine being more confused than the people who subscribe to my channel from the top 10 Gooby Woobies short. But if you're here, welcome. It's much weirder. I promise you it's much weirder here than you could possibly imagine. Gooby Woobies part three is coming. I'm checking to see if that's viral, like if that's just like a viral title. Because the first video that I did got 2 million views. So that's obviously something I wanted to, you know, go again. So I did a round two. I think that video is sitting at 40,000 uh, views right now. But sometimes they take off. So if it takes off again, I'll definitely do part three. JT93, you won 10 times now? That's interesting. Bruce Levering is the only person to ever win twice. But that's, congratulations on the fantasy. <laughs> Goku, what's up, man? Thanks for your donation. What do you think about the new Microtech Atreus that is zero blade plate? And what do you think about the SBD Derrico Hawkbill? I'm gonna check out both. I've already talked with Microtech about the, I'm trying to get my hands on, um, the new uh, Microtech with zero blade plate. And I do, while I do have a contact from Microtech, I just want you guys to know, I still pay for those. The only benefit I have through Microtech is that I, I have a contact, but I do buy those. That's not always the case. For example, we knives, I don't, I don't pay for any of those. But Microtechs, I have a contact and I pay for those. But I will buy that knife to check it out. Just order the MSI, you'll love it. Is it out of prototype phase yet? I don't know, is it? Just out of curiosity, where do you draw the line for handling some knives with gloves? The only reason I handle, that's a good question, I'm happy to answer that. The only reason I handle certain knives with gloves is when I want to display them on camera with no fingerprints. I know that people who have the internet speed and the capacity to run my videos at 4k appreciate not having to look at fingerprints if you're that much of a knife enthusiast fingerprints will bother you so polished zirconium or mirror surfaces you don't like to look at fingerprints so i try to handle those knives that are high polishes with with gloves so people can appreciate the finish instead of looking at my stupid fingerprints but off camera i touch all of my knives i am not over i'm not so protective of any of my knives that i can't touch them with my bare hands. I only do that on, just to display them on camera. Amphibian or MSI? The Amphibian is really cool, but it's much more designy than it is utilitarian. It's a good knife and it'll definitely work, but the MSI I think is a better tool. Show the MSI. That's got the original goat. I think gunstock scales. I think that's what they call these. Beautiful texturing. I love that they did a, uh, a certain zone of the knife and not the entirety of the scales. Also very much appreciate they did both sides and they milled out a smooth spot underneath the pocket clip so it doesn't drag or create friction. 
We got 473. I'm going to go ahead and give away some memberships to the remaining people in here. Oh, we actually had Walter granted. Uh, he, he gave uh, five memberships. That's very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, tonight. Oh, it's bonus night tonight. You guys are lucky. So I got my YouTube gives me 10 memberships a month to just give away for free. So I'm actually going to give away 30 memberships tonight. These are given out at random. So cross your fingers. We're going to do the first set of five right now. So there's five. We're going to do another five. Those are the ones that were for free. And then I'm going to pay for 20 more. Congrats. There's my final gift of 20 there. Thank you very much. Current members, past members, future members. You, of course, uh, you'll get that membership for a month. If you choose to renew it, it's $1.99 a month. If you don't, no hard feelings. It's fine. I just like to do this uh, for people periodically. For the next month, if you've got a membership, you'll have access to the Excalibur emojis. You'll have access to badging, which can be viewed by everybody under any of my videos. Every time you comment, you'll have a badge. Uh, and, of course, in live streams. But, um, yeah. Current members, people who have been a member for a long time, if you're wondering, are you going to add new Excalibur emojis? Yes. I'm actually working on a very fun group here. I've got three Excalibur emojis that I'm working on right now that should be really fun. I know it's just a little thing. They're just emojis, but I like doing stuff like this. So hope you guys enjoy it. Still waiting on somebody to achieve the ultimate badge. Nobody has achieved the four-year badge yet, but I know we have some people that are close. And uh, I can't wait to see the uh, Eterna badge. Somebody's going to get that final badge soon. What is this emoji? Would you like to know the history behind Gort, the trifecta dirt wizard? So that is actually my face uh, on top of Levon, uh, the Levon from uh, the Knife Nuts podcast. He actually made that. He he put a filter on him. So I, we have a group chat, a bunch of uh, YouTube um, like knife people, like me. It's me and uh, Pete from Cedric Canada and. Advanced Knife Pro, Nick Shabazz, Tri-State, uh, Everyday City Carry, uh, Levon, Knife Nuts Podcast. There's a whole bunch of us in there. Dr. Frunky's in there. I know he's not active on YouTube, but he's in there. We all like to just chat and hang out, have a good time. And uh, <laughs> I, I submitted a picture of myself. I can't remember what it was for, but Levon used my face on his head and <laughs> reposted it in chat. And it was so ridiculous, I decided to just zoom way in on it and create a, an emoji. So that's, that's, that's uh, if, if Levon and I did the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z, that is who would be created. The ultimate warrior. It's a mix of my facial hair and Levon's facial hair. I think perhaps, I'm not sure whose eyebrows those are. It's a perfect mix of our faces. It's, it's terrifying, honestly. It's a terrible face. But that's, that's what it is there. Hazy or West Coast IPA? I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't like IPAs. I, I really don't, for the most part. Every now and then I'll have a, a one that I think is decent. But for the most part, I really don't like IPAs. I'm not going to come down on anybody who enjoys an IPA because I do believe people authentically do enjoy them. But it's it doesn't... It doesn't tickle the fancies of my taste buds. <clears throat> and I have a very refined palate, if you can't uh, surmise that by my presentation here tonight. iPads suck. I like my iPad. I think my iPad is great. My favorite Pokemon? Okay, so like, I'm, I'm a filthy casual, and like, I'm not. I'm a, I'm a Pokemon veteran. But I'm going to go with the default and say Mewtwo. I love Mewtwo. But if I was going to pick like a childhood, like if I was going to dig deep and say if it's not Mewtwo, the obvious answer, my favorite Pokemon is Blastoise. If you chose Squirtle 
on your very first run through on Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue, you dominated that game and you know you did. I know Squirtle's easy mode, but when you, man, when you got Blastoise, the game was over. When you, when your, when your Wartortle evolved into Blastoise, you knew that you were going to dominate the rest of the game and dominate you did. You dominated the game with Blastoise. Tyranitar over Scizor, uh, Scissor, 100%. Tyranitar is way cooler than Scissor. Scizor. It's okay to like Pikachu, it absolutely is. No, I like Charizard, but like, I I, I went through a second playthrough with him and, and got destroyed by Brock. And I was like, man, <laughs> screw this. <laughs> it's so hard. The first two gym leaders are are super effective. Like again, like it's so hard to battle the first two gym leaders as, as Charmander. I, I did I did eventually go through the game with Charizard, but God, that sucks. Bulbasaur and and Scordo are much much better early game and and very good late game. Charizard's not good till late game. Blastoise is an awesome, but it's my favorite Pokemon card. Is the OG Blastoise. I would kill to have a base set first edition Blastoise, but that's a pipe dream. Okay, guys, it's it's time to go. I'm 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 four minutes over the line here. I love you all. Thank you so much for say the same thing that I say after every live stream. Thank you for letting me, and I mean this. Not it's not robotic. Thank you for letting me live out my dream. This is a blast. I'll be here for as long as I possibly can. I hope you guys continue to come back to my live streams and potentially win free knives or just hang out and have fun. Either way, it's a blast for me. It's my favorite part of the week. Um, I hope you all have an excellent rest of your Friday evening and an excellent rest of your weekend. Bye.